Okay, okay now we're inside the 56 inch icon box and we can see that the partition on the icon is cut down and that's to allow the full length of the drawers but we can watch the locks and it's the same simple locking mechanism that's in pretty much all toolboxes all there is is a little hook on the back of the drawers that when pushed all the way back and when raised up it holds the drawers in place by preventing it from coming out because of the hooks but we can see that it's made quite a bit different if we look closer this box is going to be a lot more secure than the US General I can see that just by looking at it so if you're worried about security I think I could bust the US General way before I could bust these locks but we can see the sides and the partition of the icon are double walled which means that there's a piece of sheet metal on each side and two pieces of framing channel on the inside but the slides screw into the box just like on the US General every one of these si slides are screwed in so to replace this replace one of these slides or remove one of these slides you have to unscrew the slide they do, they do not slide in like the US General slides in on some of their slides let's go ahead and start from the top and work our way down we'll look and see if we see any differences and as with the US General we see that they have two pieces of channel that run across the top but if we look at these pieces of channel we can see a pretty big difference in size and the fact that they run the full length of the inside of the box and we can see they are welded to the in interior wall of the sides of this box this channel is two inch by three inches so this channel is two by three whereas the US general was two and a half by about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch so we can see these are a lot beefier than the US generals and as I said these are meant for support so if you put weight on the top of your box it will accept the weight better so the US generals are basically meant to just serve a little purpose to so the middle of the top of the box doesn't bend in and it will help support it but judging off this we can see that these are going to be a lot more supportive than those and we can see notches cut out for your power cords I've unattached both of them from the back of the box you have one there and one there that goes to your power drawer that goes to your front plugs and it's also drilled out to receive the rod for the locking mechanism now we can take a look at this middle partition and we can get a better idea of what these side walls look like as well it's two pieces of sheet metal with two pieces of channel on the inside meant for framing support and it appears the icon tag is actually screwed in and not just glued on like the US general if we look back here we can see two screws if I can get you a shot there are two screws screwing that in the power strip is looks like it's screwed into another bracket that's welded to the box but we can see that the interior walls are riveted to the piece of sheet metal on the inside so how these walls are framed is there's two pieces of sheet metal with two interior pieces of channel for framing and it looks like it's rolled around and in the back we can see that the interior piece of sheet metal has been spot welded to the back wall so they've been riveted up front spot welded in the back and we can see two rivets there and the other ones there and those are going into the piece of channel on the inside okay we're going to take a look under the icon box but let's just take a closer look at these casters and we can see that these are pretty thick and we can take a look at these beefy springs man these things are heavy duty I mean 2,000 pound casters is pretty pretty impressive that they put on this box and they even look nice they got the little nice rims on them feel well made they roll smooth now I've moved the 56 inch US general box around and I've moved that around both empty and full now I've only moved the icon box around empty but it does move a lot better than that US general box when it's empty now I'm obviously going to load this box down with tools I'm going to try to fit every tool I own in this thing and we're going to try to max it out 
and then I'm gonna try to move it around and see how well it moves. But just judging off of these springs and judging off the thickness of this metal on these casters, these things are really heavy duty. So let's get underneath and take a look. And we can see a big difference in the way this is framed versus the way the US General was framed with those little pieces of angle iron. We can see three big pieces of channel that run across and are welded to the bottom of the box. We can also see that the bottom of the box is rolled over and is also welded to the channel on both sides. The casters are bolted to the bottom of the channel. Now they claim that these are 14 gauge steel, that their framing is 14 gauge steel, that their walls are 16 gauge steel, and that their drawers are 18 gauge steel. So I can actually get to a little piece of the channel and I'm gonna see if I can... Now we can get a look up in the channel from here and I'm gonna try to measure and see how thick it is. And this channel is 151 thousandths thick. So it's big, thick channel. And it needs to be big, thick channel because this is the support of this toolbox. But the frame design on this, as we see, is different than the US General. I think we've seen enough. Now that we've had a look at the inside and underneath framing of these, Let's go ahead, I'm gonna transfer all my tools from my 72 inch box to my 56 inch box, all the tools I can fit, and then we'll take a look at this box, load it down. Even load it down, this Icon box moves pretty easy on these casters. We can see I've got this thing packed full of tools, now I have a mixture of different tools that I use. And when I was transferring all the tools over, just like I suspected, the slim drawers did cause me a problem into how I wanted to set my toolbox up. So I have a lot of machinist tools as well as mechanic tools and just a big variety of tools that I use for home that I'm able to work on vehicles with and anything else I want to work on. So I do have a big variety of tools. Now I do have a lot of blow molded cases that's underneath the 72 inch toolbox and a lot of blow molded cases that I just can't fit anywhere. So when I get my top locker and my side lockers, I'll be able to fill those up with my blow molded cases and a lot of other accessories that I have laying around that's gonna make my life a lot easier. But I was able to fit almost everything from this 72 inch box into this. But as I said, I did not have this thing jam packed full of tools. I did have some drawers that weren't completely crammed full, but I, it, it holds a lot. I was definitely impressed with the amount of tools that this box was able to hold. And even with as I spoke, the power strip and the impact drawer, even with those, I still was able to fit a good amount of tools in this. And the fact that the drawers open all the way up makes a big difference. I feel like that I was able to gain a lot of space, even in the 72 inch box, because the 72 inch box, it opens the same as the 56 inch box. They do not pull all the way out. So you lose a lot of space with those drawers being like that. Now let's talk about the way that these toolboxes are made. As we've seen, this US General box just sets on some thin, small angle iron that's made as a frame that the bottom sets on and it's welded to the bottom. Then your sides, back and top are at it later. And that frame doesn't even cover the whole toolbox. As we can see from underneath the front and the back, the difference between the icon, which is wrapped around and then welded to the outside of the channel. This here has an open space in between the frame and the box. And while the Icon has three big channels which are welded to the bottom, and the front and the back come around and wrap around those channels and are welded to the channels. Then you're gonna have both your sides and your partition which are double walled, as we've seen, framed on the inside. And then we'll talk about the slides. Now to remove the slides out of the Icon box, it's a little trickier. You have to unscrew a screw, then you have to take a screwdriver and you have to stick it down in there in the front corner and pry out a little bit while holding the slide. And once you have it pried out enough, it pops out. 
it is a little hard to get out. But I like that. That means it fits in there good. And we can see the ones on the U.S. General, man, they just pull straight out. And we can also see that the U.S. General, the way the slides fit is it has a slot in the back of the toolbox and a slot in the front of the toolbox. And we can see the slides on the U.S. General have three tabs. So in of this box, it's only being held by the front tab and the back tab while the tab in the middle just sets freely. But we look at the differences of these slides. The Icon slides have their names stamped in both sides of the slide and we can see a big difference in the size, the feel, and the weight of these slides. We can also see a big difference in the ball bearings on the slides in the Icon. They are twice the size of the ball bearings in the slides of the U.S. General. So these slides are of way better quality than the slides in the U.S. General. So now I'm going to answer the question that people's been asking. They, they want to know why Harbor Freight is selling this box for so much money when they have this box that is of a good price and of good quality. And I'm going to answer that. The answer is the reason that this box costs $4,000 3200 with a coupon, and this box only costs $799, 650 to 700 with a coupon, is because this box is five to 10 times better than this box. This box is way more heavy duty than this box. This box is way better than this box. This box comes with a lifetime warranty all the way down to the power strip. This box comes with a 90 day warranty. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you should throw your US General away or not buy the US General and buy the Icon instead? No, it doesn't, man. This box is not for everybody. This box is for people who want to buy a good toolbox and that are going to use their toolbox on a daily basis so they don't want it to break down. Can most people get by with using this 56-inch U.S. General box? Yes, you can. This 56-inch U.S. General box, I've used it at work for two years. This is the same box. I brought it from work to do this video. So we see that this box does hold up. This box does have some problems, though. The slides in the drawers are starting to get weak and the plastic locks on the drawers, they broke on two of them and they'll break on a lot of them because they're really cheap. And the drawers are getting harder to open and the box, this box might have, I, I would say I could probably continue to use this box for another two to three years and then I'm gonna have to buy another box because I use this box every day. I abuse this box every day. So can you buy this US General box and be fine? Yeah, you can. Most people can buy this U.S. General Box and be fine. Almost anybody can buy this U.S. General Box and be fine. But with that being said, this box is meant for somebody who wants to buy a lifetime box and plans to use that box every day and plans to abuse that box every day. This would be the last toolbox you ever have to buy. If you use this box, you're going to buy it. You're going to buy another toolbox. You're going to buy more toolboxes. You're going to end up either trying to buy a better box or you're going to end up having to buy another 56 inch box. This box is not going to last forever. This box will last forever. So when somebody asks me now why the price difference, we can see the price dif difference. Look at the construction of this box compared to the construction of this box. This box is cheap. This box is flimsy. It's always been cheap and flimsy, but it is functional and it can be used. So it is a decent box. It is a good box. It's at a great price. And most people can get away with using this, like I said. And this box over here, this box ain't for everybody. But I guarantee you this, I'll, if you were to go buy this box, you would not be unhappy with this box. You would be happy with this box. This box is well made. So now what about this box compared to the Snap-on box? Why is this box so comparable in price? We're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in my next video of this series. I'm gonna do the same thing I did to this Icon box and this US General box. I'm gonna do it to a Snap-on box. We're gonna look at the construction quality. We're gonna see any differences, any similarities, and we're gonna see if this box is close to the same quality of the Snap-on box. Now that Harbor Freight is offering a lifetime warranty on this box, man, they believe in this box. You can see they don't offer no warranty with this. <laughs> They're not gonna offer a warranty with this because they know this box ain't gonna last forever. Now, the average homeowner that wants to just get a big box to put in their house, to set in their garage, to look cool, 
to have some, put some tools in it and to use on an occasional basis, this box is perfect for you. You don't need to go out and spend this much money on this box. Now, if you want a quality good box for the rest of your life, if you want something that's gonna look nice, if you want something that you're gonna be able to build on with side lockers, hutches, top lockers, end lockers, what have you, if you want something to build on, then man, if you can afford it, Go ahead and get this. I mean, is they're going to be offering 0% financing over 36 months. So if you're looking at $3,200 over 36 months, you're looking at $90 a month, man. I can afford that. Most people can afford that. So for three years, for $90 a month, that's a pretty good deal. No interest. I could wheel this box out, take it home, and this box is going to last me the rest of my life. I pay on it for a few years, then I pay it off, and then I can start building on it. And then you're gonna have a nice looking, good professional looking system at your house. And if you're on the job working, then you already know you're, you're gonna want a nice box. You're gonna want a hutch. You're gonna want some end lockers, or you're gonna want a nice top box, a good box. And the differences between this and this is night and day, man. Even the casters wheeling this around is, completely different than wheeling this around. We can see I got this loaded down and it still rolls like butter. It's a great box and we're gonna see how good it is compared to the Snap-on next. So who's the winner here? There really is no winner. I think both of these boxes are good. Both of these boxes serve a purpose. Both of these boxes are meant for two different people. So if you're eyeing the U.S. General, if this box is too expensive for you, if you're worried about the price of this box instead of worrying about the quality of this box, then this box probably wasn't meant for you, man. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just go ahead, get your U.S. General, get your Husky, get your Milwaukee, whatever other box you like, and just roll with that. You don't need to go out and buy a Snap-on, a Mac Tools, a Mac O Tools, or an Icon box. You don't really need to. But do people want to? I know I want to. I want a nice box and I'm blessed to be able to get this nice box. I've been rolling with these US Generals for years and I've had really no problems with them. Now, as I said, they are wearing down. So I would have had to go buy a box eventually. So I'm happy that I got this box, man. I'm thrilled that I got this box and I'm blessed. I really am. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. But I really want I really feel like that I need to go in depth on these boxes. I really feel like I don't need to skip any corners because I don't want to lead anybody down the wrong path, man. I want to give you an honest opinion and I want to inform you in all areas, man. That's why I wanted to look at the quality of these boxes because we're going to look at the core quality and that's going to tell us a lot more about this box. That's going to let us know if this box is made good, if they skipped any corners, if they're just trying to sell this box and make a bunch of money and not so much worry about quality. But as I said, man, with them offering a lifetime warranty with this box, they really believe in it. So I kind of already figured I was gonna find a good high quality build when I started looking at this and they didn't disappoint me. So I'm really impressed with this box. And as I said, next video, we're gonna look at a Snap-on box. We're gonna look at the similarities in build and we're gonna see if it's any better built than the Icon. As far as how good it is compared to the Snap-on over the long run, I don't know, man. I, I can't tell you that because we just now are getting these boxes. But with a lifetime warranty, I really don't feel like you have anything to lose if you decide to go in this direction, whether it be from the US General or any other toolbox. But We'll get into that on the next video. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go down and subscribe below because I'm going to be finishing up these Icon toolboxes. And man, I'm, I'm going to go in depth with this. We're going to have some good videos. I'm going to go talk to people. I'm going to show people this box. We're going to inspect this box. We're going to use this box and we're going to find out if it's any good. So if you're interested in that, subscribe below. And I got a lot more coming up, man. I'm going to be starting a welding series. We're going to be doing tool reviews. And I mean, the sky's the limit. This channel's going up. We're going to do it big. So I appreciate you watching. Till next time, stay real.